Hi, my name is Beth and I'm a programming assistant for the St. John's County Public Library System and you are watching In the Bubble with Beth, a program where we make things. Today we're going to make a very simple, very easy um, door tassel to go over your doorknob. It'll be a nice little kind of boho decorative touch. So let's go ahead and see what we need to get started with this project. Okay, so to make this project, all you're going to need is some macrame rope. Um, I think this is about five millimeters. Um, you'll also need some string or twine or something um, to go with your wooden beads. Right now I've got this bag. It, it's something I already had in my house. It's a mixed bag of different beads. There's wooden beads and some some white, gray, and gold beads too. I'm, I'm gonna probably just stick with the gray, uh, with the wooden beads, but whatever kind of beads you want, um, that's gonna go around the door handle. So you'll need a string that will go through whatever kind of bead you have. Um, you're also gonna need some embroider embroidery floss. I'm using black and pink, but you can use just a single color. You can use whatever colors you want, basically. You'll need some painter's tape. Um, this is better than just using um, you know, regular masking tape or um, duct tape or anything like that because while it sticks while, while you're using it, it also comes up really easily and, and you want that for your project. Um, you'll want a ruler or if you're like me and can't find a ruler in your house, um, I'm going to use a measuring tape um, and a pair of scissors. And that's really all we're going to need. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is take a piece of my string, just my regular string, um, and I went ahead and measured it around my doorknob because I want to make sure that I have enough um, room that it would go over my doorknob. Um, and I'm just going to tie a knot at one end and start stringing my wooden beads onto it. And I'll um, string those around. Um, I might have to, because this is yarn, I'm probably going to have to get this wet. <laughs> um, but I'll just string beads all the way around my um, yarn until um, I have enough, like so. Once you've got your beads all strung, go ahead and tie a double knot to make it into a loop. And then trim off the ends and then test it on your doorknob to make sure that it's actually going to fit over your over the doorknob. Okay, next you want to figure out how um, long of a tassel you want on your doorknob. So just lay the rope to start on a doorknob um, where you're going to put it, and just measure down about how much of a how how far down you want it to hang. I think I'm going to go for a nine inch tassel. So now that I've figured that out, I can put my ruler away for just a second. And then I'm going to take my rope and I'm going to multiply by six, um, whatever length that you say. So since I said six, I'm going to um, measure out 54 inches of my macrame rope. Um, but if you, know, you wanted an eight inch tassel, then you would do a 48 inches of the macrame. So it just depends whatever length that you want to do, just make sure you multiply it by six. So now that I've cut my rope um, down to 54 inches, I want to divide this into thirds. So for 54, that would be 18 inches for each third, um, which is about here. And then once I've got my thirds, I want to kind of make an arch like that. Next, I'm going to take my painter's tape and just kind of gathering my um, macrame rope where I, I'm going to put my thread. I'm just going to kind of squeeze it together and wrap the painter's tape around. So I'll do that on one side and then I'll do it on the other side to match. Okay, 
just like that. So next, I'm gonna take my pink embroidery thread, boss, whatever you wanna call it. <laughs> I'm gonna tie a knot um, on one edge of the painter's tape, and then I'm gonna just wrap the rope um, between the two pieces of painter's tape. I'm just gonna wrap it all the way around um, so that it covers the rope completely. You know, I might have to make a few layers of that um, in order to cover this rope, but that's what I'm gonna do. Once you get to the end of um, where you're putting your um, first embroider embroidery floss, make a little loop and tie a knot. And then you can trim off the end with some scissors. And then remove your um, pieces of tape. Okay, so now that I have removed my painter's tape, now I'm gonna take my second color. I've got um, black embroidery floss. And I'm gonna kind of pinch, pinch the pieces together and tie a knot, um, maybe about a half an inch or an inch down from um, where my from where my um, thread ended. I'm gonna secure that with a double knot. And I'm going to leave the tail of my knot. Oops, this thread's kind of stringy. Okay, so I've tied a knot, and I'm going to I'm going to leave these um, this little tail piece here because I'm going to need that at the end. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to wrap the black thread around um, so that it comes up to where the pink is and maybe back around down and then I'll tie it off with using this tail that I have here. Okay, so let me go ahead and start that process. Now I'm getting to the end. I'm going to tie my end of my string to that tail that I saved from before. And just tie a double knot. And then trim off any of these little little tails here. Okay. So the next thing that I want to do now that I've got my little loop and my um, my tie here. Um, I'm going to trim these um, bottoms of the rope so that they're all flush with one another. And then I'm just going to start to, to fray my ropes. So just kind of, you're basically just pulling apart your, um, the weave of the macrame rope. And it's not hard to do. You, you do have to kind of maybe tug up from the start. It's, it's like undoing a braid. And so I'll do that with each of these, um, each of these tassels. Okay, so once you've unbraided all of your, um, all of your tassels, then, you know, just start kind of combing it with your fingers to fluff it up. And then if you want to, again, trim it, like I've got some stragglers that are a little bit longer, 
Um, so I'll go ahead and just trim the ends so that they're all a little bit more uniform. But once I've got this as fluffy as I want, then I'm going to go ahead and start attaching the, um, the ring of beads that we made so that this will go onto our doorknob. So let's move on to that step. Okay, so now that we've got our tassel, we're going to go ahead and bring our wood beads back. And we're going to take a little piece of string that's the same color um, embroidery floss that you used at the top part. And you're just going to loop it and then pick a spot on your wood beads. and tie a double knot. And then we'll trim off the ends. Okay, here we go. And let's go ahead and put it on our doorknob. And there we go, it's super cute on the doorknob. Two books you might be interested in if you enjoyed this project um, that the St. Johns County Public Library System has in um, our um, catalog is The New Bohemians, Cool and Collected Homes by Justina Blakeney, and also Macrame, The Craft of Creative Nodding for Your Home um, by Fanny Zedinius. <laughs> um, but the St. John's County Public Library System has many other books about crafting and decorating. Um, so just ask anybody at your local library if you want some help. Well, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you had fun. Um, I did, and I'm pretty pleased with our cute little door tassel. Um, so please stay tuned to the St. John's County Public Library System um, website, Facebook page, and YouTube channel for more great programming that we continue to have for adults, teens, and children. Um, stay safe in your bubbles at home, and we do hope that we see you at the library sometime soon. All right, take care. Bye-bye.